Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Today, I just have a good old fashioned haul for you. I have been stopping in at Savers, um, you know, periodically when I have a coupon, when I make a donation, if there's a sale going on, but I haven't had like a huge haul. So this is a combination of three or four trips to my local Savers and also the Savers in Framingham and also one trip to Salvation Army when I went with my mom to Worcester. If you are up for a good old fashioned haul, sit tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to say hello to everybody. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me. I've been in the midst of doing my Thrift Across New England series. Um, and so this is just a little bit of a deviation to do just a regular haul for you. I guess this could be part of the series if I wanted to put it in because these are all shops in Massachusetts. Um, I do shop at my local savers quite frequently, although I've been venturing out a lot lately because of my series. If you haven't checked out the series, I will link it in the description so be sure to check it out. If you enjoy haul videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of what I have to offer. I don't have my total amount um, for what I spent on this haul because it was in a few different places. Um, but if I remember what I paid, I will definitely let you know. I have some beautiful pieces in here. I have shoes, I have accessories, all sorts of things. So let's dive right in. So to kick things off, I wanted to share this piece, which is one of my favorite pieces from the haul. I believe this was priced at $10 and I had a 30% off coupon during like the Memorial Day three day sale. They do send emails out. So if you're part of the Savers like club, you will get coupons sent to you. And the way that they do it post COVID is they run it over the course of three or four days. So it's really nice because I just bring my phone in and they scan my phone and it's good up to three visits. So it's usually runs like a Wednesday to a Sunday and you find some really great things. So this is absolutely beautiful. It's by Chico's. It is new with tag. I think I paid $7 for it. The price tag on it is for $149. And let me tell you, this is just gorgeous. It's a small medium, but you could definitely wear it even if you are a large. I tried it on and it's beautiful. It has this beautiful lace detail. It kind of has a boho vibe and it's sheer. Um, but it's layered, like there's two layers to it, but you would still wanna wear something underneath it. Just gorgeous. I think I have this priced at $75. I think I priced it half off. It is a stunning piece and also new with tag. Next up is this gorgeous dress. Um, I did not recognize the label on this dress, but I looked at it and I knew it had to be special. So this whole top section is embroidered. It is just beautiful. The brand is called, do, 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 this is an anthropology piece, PayPal Pratap, made in India. So the embroidery was just stunning on it. It is a maxi dress. It also has the embroidery at the bottom as well. I have this priced at 90 or $100. The comps on this dress were really impressive. I wanna say this was priced at like 12 or $13. I had my 20% off coupon. I would say that my average cost of goods is right around that five or six dollar mark. This is a size two, really stunning. Um, I used to say that dresses didn't do really well for me and I think during COVID it was just a little bit of a lull with dresses, but recently dresses are definitely picking up. Post COVID, summertime, people being able to go out back on vacation and be outside freely, I think it's a great time to be picking up dresses, so I am doing that. I picked up these Levi's High Rise Skinny. This is the 721 High Rise Skinny. Um, and I do love Levi's, but I tend to migrate towards the vintage or the 501s, the wedgies, the rib cage, the 560s. And this is a brand that Jack from Jack and Ryan, this, um, this style, the 721 High Rise, Jack picks them up all the time. So I was paying closer attention when I was out shopping and um, if you don't follow Jack and Ryan, you absolutely should. They are a dynamic duo and I love them both and they have an incredible channel. Um, but so I picked these up and sure enough, the comps on the 721 high rises were pretty good. I think I have these priced at $35. Again, there's a huge range with these jeans. Some people have them priced low, so they sell low, but I think that they do hold their value. So I priced them at 35 or 38 and I'm hoping for $30. They're also a size 31 and they're in really good condition. So um, thank you, Jack, for that. I'm gonna be on the lookout to pick these up. I love picking up Levi's in general. 
this was probably my biggest score and rare find for me. So the savers that's closest to my house, I don't find very good jeans there. Other people may have good luck there, but the jeans that I'm searching for, I rarely find at my savers. When I go to other savers, um, I find some really good ones. So I found these Reformation jeans and I put this on my Instagram story because I was so excited. I rarely find Reformation pieces and I've never found their jeans. And these were priced at just $4.79, which is crazy for savers because they really mark certain jeans up. Like their lucky jeans are standard $12.99, nine times out of 10, $12.99. These are a button fly. They are a size 26 or 27, 26. I have these priced at $75. These also run the whole range. Some are listed over 100, some are listed for 50. I kind of shoot for the middle, more expensive side. That's where I go and then I accept offers, hoping to get about $50 for those. Great return, $4.79 plus my coupon. I picked this up based on style and because it was made in Italy and it was just a beautiful piece. It's another little cover up cardigan style that I love to wear all summer. And I do love to pick up sweaters, but we're really in the heat of summer. I think it's like 95 degrees out today. Um, but these are the types of things that look really cute over a tank top with a pair of shorts, over a dress in the summer. It's this light gray. Um, the brand on this is Elena Baldi, made in Italy. This is a size large. Um, this is probably linen. A lot of the stuff that I pick up from Italy is 100% linen. It's actually viscose and polyester. Italy, I'm surprised. So pretty though. But I would have pegged this for like a linen cotton blend. I picked this up because I thought this was kind of a unique piece. This is North Face. And you know, North Face, usually I find the Denali sweatshirt, which I can kind of take or leave at this point, especially this time of year. But this looked like a very new tag in excellent condition. There were stock photos on this and it's it's more like a performance style. So really nice by the North Face. It's women's, it's a size medium. I love the colors. It's unique to me for North Face. So I decided to grab this. So that was $8.49 and that would be prior to the 20% off coupon. This I grabbed thinking I might keep myself, but then I just, I didn't love it. Um, but it is BCBG Max Osria. And I picked this up because I did love the style. You know, kind of that boho, gauzy, lightweight, tunic-y style. I love the colors, all the neutrals that I love. Looks great with jeans, looks great with black. Split neck with the tie, really cute. Um, probably have this listed somewhere between 30 and $38. Really a nice top. Um, I picked up this Ralph Lauren. This was $5.99. I don't pick up a lot of Ralph Lauren, but the large logo tends to do well. The embroidered horse in the large style can do very well. So this was $5.99 plus 20% off. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It also has a number on the back. I thought it was a unique piece. I don't think I have this listed yet. I'm guessing I'll probably list it between $30 and $40 really cute it's in excellent condition too you will be proud of me i am trying to stay towards getting summer vibe items and not taking home so many sweaters i'm not at my sweater store there's one store that i just have no control with sweaters but um at savers i try to be good because their sweaters are more like 7.99 so this is a made well piece and i really love it because it's a tunic but if you look on their stock photos they market it as a beach cover-up so you can wear it as either and it does have that fun embroidery in the neckline um, and it's lightweight and it has stripes it is a size small and this i paid just 5.49 for so i'm starting to see madewell get marked up at certain stores and you just never know with savers when you go to goodwill typically you see a sign that says jeans are 6.49 6.99 whatever tops are 5.49 and they might have like a boutique section where they price things up but at savers Everything is mixed in and there is no rhyme or reason. So I will literally go through the denim. I will find jeans for $3.99, for $4.79, all the way up to like $22.99. And not even for stuff that's new with tags. They really like to mark up Lucky Brand. A lot of Loft gets marked up. Um, American Eagle is now standard like $8.99 for, for most of the pricing that I see at my Target 
Why am I saying Target? That's Savers. So yeah, so it's really exciting to find jeans for $4.79. I've never picked up this brand. I do have um, like a fabric glue that I use for tags like this when they come undone, but these are level 99. Let me know in the comments if you've ever bought these jeans or had any luck with them. Um, these were also $4.79 before my 20% off coupon, so I figured I'd give them a shot. They are a smaller size. You know, I'm usually looking for bigger sizes. 27 is a pretty popular size. They have a little bit of distressing. They're a very slim leg, but they're not like a skinny jean, um, but they're pretty thin. I mean, they're, they're, they're skinny with like a little straight bottom, if that makes sense. So I'll price those between 30 and $35, and um, hopefully they do well. I found these pants and I just thought they were nice. They have the wide leg at the bottom. I loved this detail right here, which reminds me of corset. And they're just very lightweight. So the brand is called Hello Molly. Not to be confused with the dress that I found last week, which was Odd Molly. This is Hello Molly. So these were priced at $5.99 or $6.99 before the discount. And um, the comps aren't fantastic on these. I don't know if these were a great pickup. So we'll see how that does. These are from a different haul. <laughs> these are from my Martha's Vineyard haul that I did the other day. So you don't want to see those. This is an Athleta Skort. Um, and I kind of paid more than I typically pay for Athleta. Um, and the reason I did is because I just think that this is a style that a lot of people would be looking for. Um, oh no, I take that back. I paid up on an Athleta sports bra. This was only $5.99 and it's a size 16 expedition skirt. It's got the zip in the front and then the shorts underneath. And this is just a really desirable size. I also, it's a desirable size in a style that is great, I think, um, speaking from my own experience. It's nice to have these skirts that have the shorts underneath that hold you in a little bit if you are like borderline plus size. Um, and they're just really comfortable and you can move around in them a lot. They have the bike shorts underneath, which make it really comfortable which is new. Um, yeah, so I think I probably have these priced between $35 and $40. I also picked up this free people top. This was $9.99. I bought this for myself. I wouldn't necessarily pick this up to flip. It was $9.99. This was a 30% off day, so I paid seven. And I've already worn it once. It's great to layer with like leggings underneath or like one of my little sweaters, caftans that goes over. But this neck, had a button that went across and attached, so it had like, you know, the little upside down triangle, and I wasn't digging that style for me. I just cut both sides with straight edge scissors, and if it frays and I don't like it, I can just always, I left a little bit of space so I can always put it back and just put a few stitches in there. Um, that's also the beauty of buying things that are thrifted, pre-owned, that I'm only paying $7. I can take little chances like that, and you know, if it doesn't come out perfect, I'm not really sad about it, but love my black florals, so that was a great pickup. This I also picked up for myself. Um, I love these one-piece bathing suits, but every time I find, a, I live, I mean, I only wear black bathing suits, and every time I find a miracle suit, I wanna keep it, but then I do really well selling miracle suits, so I end up selling them. So this reminded me of a miracle suit, but it's not a miracle suit, it's a Jans, uh, it's a Jansen classic. Um, and it just has the ruching and just like a very flattering fit. Um, so even if I try it on and I don't love it, cause it doesn't have underwire, which I might need. If I don't love it, I'll sell it $25, $30. I think I paid $5 for that. I was very excited about this bag. This is a vintage Bally bag. I'll come in, you can just see the little Bally right here. It looks very like early 80s to me. There are some scratches on the leather, but it is such soft leather. And I just think it's a really cute style. Um, the strap is long enough that you could wear it crossbody. I think if you were like a smaller frame, I mean, actually I could wear it crossbody too. It's fine, it's a great crossbody. I don't know why I looked at it and thought it might be a little shorter, but no, it's perfect crossbody. Um, it can also be worn as a clutch. It looks like this comes off, so you can take this off, or you can just tuck the straps inside and not even remove them and then wear it as a clutch this way. And the color is so neutral, you know, comparison, I have like a, a I think this is an iPhone 10 plus, so I have a larger phone, would fit like a good size wallet, 
no storage in the back here, but really cute. I'm probably gonna list this between 50 and $60. It's vintage. Some of these went for a lot of money. It does have scratches on it, so I might want to um, see if I can get buff out some of the scratches, but I was really happy to find vintage Bally. I have found Bally once or twice before. I know for sure I found some Bally men's boots at a, at a rummage sale for $3 that wound up selling for between $50 and $100. They, they, they did pretty well. Um, I did sit on them for a while. And then I think I had some Bally flip-flops that I'm pretty sure also sold. Um, this is a new to me brand. Uh, you guys know I like to check out the luggage, so I was at the back of the store. This is Le Palt Paris, L-I-P-A-U-L-T. I don't know if how clear that um, tag will come in for you, but this is like new. Time for a quick message about today's sponsor. Skillshare has been a friend of my channel for a very long time. I have taken courses on hand lettering. I've taken classes on Procreate and how to create animation for the start of my video. I learned how to do my intro that you see in all of my videos on Skillshare. Members get unlimited access to thousands of classes and it's great for your creative side. Um, one of the things that I really want to focus on is finally getting some of my Amazon orders in. I don't know if you guys know, but I joined Amazon a while ago and I've only sent in one box. Skillshare has all these classes on FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. So just simple things like how to package your things before sending them to Amazon. There's a course on that. There's also a class called the seven secrets to Amazon FBA product research. So just what sort of things should I be looking for to send to Amazon? And Skillshare has all these classes right at my fingertips. You can look at the classes by chapter, so you can skip around. Like I have some sort of a base knowledge of Amazon, so I can skip around the chapters and just kind of tune into what works for me. Depending on where I am in my reselling or creative journey, Skillshare has kind of always been there to just offer me the classes that really suit my needs. Skillshare is offering my viewers a great promotion. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description below will receive a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Don't miss out. Click the link below and start your creative journey today. I found a fair amount of good comps on this brand, but I couldn't find like where it is sold now. I don't know if it's a still being sold, but all this is the bag itself is nylon, but all of the trim is in leather and this is like brand new. So this is like the classic briefcase for women. Um, I am, and it's honestly, it's just, I don't know that this has ever seen a laptop. It's like brand new inside. Absolutely beautiful. Probably going to price this between, I don't know, 50 and 70. I'm not really sure. I do know that I only paid like 649 and I had 30 or 20% off. Um, so this was a great deal. Wanted to try this brand out. The quality was nice. Again, people going back to the office hybrid version or whatever, making their way back to the office. So this is a nice lightweight bag um, and it is in brand new condition. So I've never heard of this brand, but I figured I would try it out. All right, I picked up these Dansko sandals. I have been having so much luck with Dansko sandals. I had picked some up a few weeks ago in that haul that I um, that was called $2,000 on one rack. That haul was such a great haul. I am still selling stuff from that. I'm going to do a follow-up video to that haul called Where Are They Now? After one month, I wanna revisit that haul and show you all of the things that have sold. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these videos where I go back and I share you know, what sold from a particular video because I think it's really fun to check out where you're sourcing and see like what is selling from a particular location. I have certain thrift stores that I go back to over and over, but I wanna start analyzing the shops that I'm going to and say, okay, yeah, I did great. I love the stuff that I picked up here, but what is actually selling from this particular haul in this particular location? So um, that haul is doing really well. And so I wanna revisit it. So in that haul, I picked up three pairs of sandals from Dansko and they've all sold. So two sold in a bundle for $100 and then one sold outright for $68. So $168 in sales from three pairs of Danskos that I paid $15 for. So when I saw these sandals, I was like, I'm going to pick them up. They're this great like reddish leather. They have a little bit of a platform. They're in really good condition. 
the sole, you know, the bottom sole looks great. It doesn't look like a lot of wear. I think I paid eight and change for these. And I walked around the island. Some I heard a mother daughter talking and the mom said, um, the daughter said her dance goes good. And the mom's like, yeah, those are really good. They sell for a lot of money. And I really like those sandals. So I did like two laps around the shoes and I was like, oh, I wonder, and I saw the daughter trying them on. And I said, oh, I hope she doesn't like them. And then she put them back and they kind of have a square toe. They're a little bit of like a Y2K vibe, but not really, but really cute. Probably priced them between 50 and $60. Um, these I put on my Instagram, like, should I buy them? And most people voted to get them, but it wasn't like an overwhelming yes. I think it was like 60, 40. These are Kelsey Dagger and they are like brand new. These were like 849 and I did have my 20% that day. They have like almost like a very, almost like a velvety bottom. These are new without tag. Um, I only have found Kelsey Dagger one other time and I have a pair of her shoes listed. They're really cute classic mules, but they haven't sold yet. So I wasn't really sure if I should pick up another pair before I sell those because I've had, I've seen mixed reviews. The comps are a little bit mixed, but I did like these and they're just a classic loafer and they were new without tag. So I went for it. Now this brand, um, I have sold before. I, this Lay, La, I always struggle when I say this, Lay Artiste. This came in a thread up um, salvage shoe box that I paid like $6 per pair of shoes. And there were sandals by this brand and they did sell. Um, so when I saw these, these were priced at $14.99 and I had 30% off with these, 30 or 20. I think I bought them this, no, a different day. I think I had 30 for these. Anyways, I still paid like 10 or $12. But these, again, were like brand new. I've been getting fussy with my shoes. I'm finding that I don't want to do a lot of work. So I've been really trying to find items that are in excellent condition. And I don't mind paying up a little bit, but the comps on these were really good. Like I'm expecting to get between 50 and $70 for these shoes. They're spring step. Um, yeah, they're just gorgeous. I don't know what size they are. I probably should be sharing sizes with you. These are a size 38. So like a US size eight, how gorgeous. I mean, a little out of season. I think these will do better in the fall, but so cute. All right, so I am going to shift gears and show you really quickly what I got at Salvation Army, and then we're gonna wrap up this video. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm falling out of this top. So for Mother's Day, my mom wanted to go thrifting. So I was so excited about that. So we planned a day because um, I was at Penn State for actual Mother's Day. Um, so we had to like plan it for the following Monday and we had a great time that day. Mom, I know you're watching. I love you. Um, so first we went and we went car shopping, which was great because I love hearing what my mom thinks and I ended up getting the car that she loved. Um, and so that was great. It was at a different dealership, but she helped me decide. So she was really great. She's just very level headed and practical. So it was great to have her um, opinion and yeah. And then I'm like, do you still wanna go thrifting? Cause we spent so much time car shopping. So we did. So we went to Salvation Army and um, it's in Worcester and I love the Salvation Army. It's just a really nice experience to walk around the store. They have their 99 cent color and then they'll have two colors that are 50% off and then things that are marked the regular price. So I didn't find a ton of stuff that day. We did go on a Monday, which is when they mark things down, which I like to do, but the, they always get a bunch of things in from Zara. You may have heard me mention this before in previous videos. They get a bunch of items from the Zara store, new with tag. They typically price them half off whatever the tag says, which can be pretty expensive. So I wore a denim jacket in a recent video that is from this haul. It was priced at $35. It was on sale for 17 and I still bought it because I liked it for me and I thought it was really unique and I thought like maybe I could sell it if I didn't wear it, but that, that doesn't leave me much room for profit. But these I think were 99 cents and how cool are these? They are platform and they're just like this stretchy material up here. These are a size 38. I think those were 99 cents. $34.99 and they were yellow. I don't think that was the these might have been $17 too. I should know. That's a big difference. Um, either way, the comps on these shoes were pretty amazing. So I bought them. They might have been $17. I am so sorry. I picked up these jeans. Oh no. Yeah, so pink was the tag. So I paid, those were half off. These were 99 cents. They were priced at $9.99. Would not have paid $9.99 for them. But these are like 
the classic mom jeans and they're in a size 16. I love the color. They're like a lightweight denim and they are new with tag. So they're just Lee Riders. I mean, not like the most fashionable brand necessarily, but this style is really in the mom jean, you know, the baggy um, and the tapered leg. So I'm going to see how those do. And if they don't sell for like the retro feel on Poshmark, I think they'll just sell because they're new with tags on eBay for $20, $25. So I don't know where I'll price those. This is a vintage dress that I loved. I had my old intern, she was visiting Angelina. I'm like, Lindsay, she was always like, love to model and she's so damn cute. So I'm like, put this dress on. And Angela's like, stop harassing my friends, mom. <laughs> and Lindsay tried it on for me. How awesome is this? This, this gave me such Mad Men vibes, like from the 60s. Like, can't you picture um, his wife wearing this? John Hamm's wife, either one of them. I was thinking more the model wife. I can't think of her name right now, the brunette. I thought this was so cool. Um, I don't have the price on this. The brand is Hoot Owl. Any of my vintage people wanna weigh in on this? It's just such a cool dress. I feel like there was also a belt attached. I don't know where it is. Lindsay did try it on. There was a little stain um, that I'm gonna try to get out, but this is like Austin Powers fabulous. Yeah, baby. What else do we have in this bag of loot? Um, this, this is a Prana. This is a Goodwill tag from Worcester. Maybe I went to Goodwill later. I think I did. This is a Prana tank top. It's pretty sad when you thrift so much that you just completely lose track of where the hell you are. You know what it is? It's when I don't do a giant haul from one place, they just get put in a bag and kind of put aside until I have enough pieces to do a haul for you. So I think that's what happened here. The prices at Salvation Army in Worcester were really high. So I went to Woonsocket, Rhode Island in my Thrift Across New England series um, that I will link, but their prices were much lower there to begin with, let alone the, the fact that the day I went, everything was half off, but $9.99. And you know what the brand is on these? George, and you know what George is? Walmart. So they had these Walmart shorts priced at $9.99, but they're that very lightweight, like kind of board short material. They're not a bathing suit, but I really like these lightweight shorts. They were large, so they wouldn't fit either one of my boys, but the pink tag was 99 cents. So I grabbed them for 99 cents, thinking maybe someone in my family would want them, but nobody wants them. And I really don't list much from Walmart, so I don't know, but they're really nice shorts. I'll probably list them for 15 and see what happens. Oh, here's the, Here's the thing for that. I love that you could wear this in your hair or you could wear it as a belt with that dress. I was obsessed with that dress. Okay, so these were half off. This is Athleta. Oh, this is cute. This little teal skirt, that's really cute. It also has like the underwear, the built-in underwear. And I'm trying to think of, this is a size large, probably a little bit of an older tag. Like I showed you the newer tag and I'm assuming this was half off. I can't remember what the, um, what the incoming color was because I probably would have also bought this even if it were $5 and not on sale. Hey, sorry about that. It's me again with a little less cleavage this time. Just back to let you know that this wraps up the video. My battery died, but that was in fact my last item that I wanted to share with you from Savers. I just wanted to say thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in my description to start your free membership today. Like this video if you had a good time, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll be back real soon with a new video. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.